Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Cobra 55 Now, when I said last video that I for or that I wouldn't save just so I made sure everything was good and you know I wouldn't miss out on another video um, until you know I made sure it was good. Yeah, I completely forgot to save. So I don't have the last two levels done for that one, so I'll just get those done later. So that's why I don't have 100% right now. Or up to one, like as much as I can. Ah! Sorry, metal instinctive to hit. Yeah, that guy changes them. I don't know, I'm having an off day today. I'm doing pretty bad today. Oh well. I cannot do this for crap. Alright, anyway, uh, in this video I will be doing the Dreamweaver's Homeworld, and if I have time I will go into that one. Ah, uh, Dark Passage. Couldn't think of the name. Ha. So yeah, if you get hit by his beams, nothing happens. I think you can actually make the mushrooms, which are your fodder in this one, big that way too. But I could be thinking of something else, which I probably am. They do the same thing in, uh, whatever Spyro that one is. Spyro 3. They have, uh, cat wizards that don't do that too. Only they screw around with the environment, so they make moving platforms, they'll make stairs impossible to climb. They're just not fun. Well, they're kind of fun to see what they do. I wonder if Spyro ever gets dizzy from spinning around like that. And guess what? You have control of the cannon! So now you can do stuff like this. Oh, you're small. Small. Miss. Yeah, I'll just do 360. Gotta get that guy too. Oh, I wonder what happens if you hit the dragon with it. I gotta do that now. Alright, wait. Nothing, oh, that's bull. I want my money back. Sick. Omo. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. And charge him. Yay, chests. Who doesn't love good chests? In a straight way, unless you're gay, because that's cool. But I'm straight, so... Well, I guess you could say that for straight people, too. I didn't think of that until just about 30 seconds ago. Crap, damn it, get back here, you... There we go. Oh, yeah, that's right, the timer, guys. What do they do again? How do you kill these? I think you killed them. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played. What was that? Haunted Towers! That one was fun. Don't ask me why I didn't get the uh, other ones done during my test playthrough. You know, I didn't, because I didn't. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Oh yeah, that's what they do. Well, when I said every enemy was killable, uh, you know, I don't count these guys as enemies, they don't hurt you. This is what they do. If you hit them, they will... Come on, get back here, you bastard. Damn it! Something happens during that time, so while that timer is active. I don't know what he does specifically, but I think he lowers that thing. Suckers. Ah! Yeah, he lowers that thing. 
but I found another way to get out there. Aha, suckers. Uh, yeah, I gotta go back that way. Um, then we jump onto here again and fly. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Actually, it'd be more like Clyde, my pretty, and fly my other one. Again, I'm having an off day. My jokes are going to be really bad. Worse than they usually are. Just saying a lot. Which one do I have to do? Got two out of three dragons. Yeah, I'm over halfway done. This is why I want to do the Haunted Towers too. Because these homeworlds are so easy. Doesn't mean I don't like them though. This one's awesome. I don't know what I like about it. You know, all the flying around and killing mushrooms. I mean, you know, you could say they stole off Mario, but... Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Well, we already figured that out, but I don't count that they stole off Mario. Because these are both awesome games. It's not stealing if it's awesome. Alright, so then I go back here and kill these guys. Ooh, you can just charge my line now. Didn't even see that chest. Jacques. He is the boss of this level. Let's see if we can go to the next world. I didn't check that out. Oh, we can go to the nasties already. And I'm not even as far as you guys. Alright, so then we go back to that guy. That guy? Jump, jump, jump. Ah! The one thing I want to know about this game is who the hell puts the treasure in these places? I mean, honestly. Are you getting both of the guys in here? The one that's going to wear out. Yeah, that guy controls the big one. That guy controls the little one. Like, I got him. I think, oh, maybe it was the other one. Maybe it's the first one that controls the little one, second one. Back here. Let me try that out. Okay. Try to get that guy second. Yeah, it's the first one that controls the first one, second one controls the second one. Comes away. No, I actually didn't bother to uh, test on the home world either. That's why I forgot what those guys did. Don't bother to test those out because you know they're easy. At least I think they are. Yep, they are good. Worst case scenario, I just cut it. I don't really like doing that because I'm lazy, but you know I would. Alright, so on we go to Dark Passage. Ominous name. All the levels in here have ominous names. Well, you can kind of see why this is called Dark Passage. Yeah. That's the scary part. Damn it. Yeah, you can see why that gets scary. Th those little dogs, they turn into these giant-ass, like, separate things. It's not fun. Yeah, you just, you can see them right there. They're all red. And ah! There he is! Alright, not really separate, but, you know, still a pretty big-ass dog. 
feel bad about killing the puppies, but you know, I don't like the adults. Kinda reminds me of my cat. Only an opposite when he was a kid, he was like awful. Now that he is an adult, he's pretty nice. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. Oh god, Cupid went rogue. Now he spreads hate through all the world. No, I don't really play in jokes when I test run. I just see where everything is. Huh, they can't attack me. Turtle. Alright, I didn't know how to go from there. Let's see, how many? 500? Okay. Ah, ZZ. Thank you for releasing me. Aw, oh, he was one of the boring guys. Kill. 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 There we go. Don't want to have to deal with ah crap. The big guy there. Look, there's the end of the level. Now you gotta time this right too, otherwise you'll wind up with that like I just did. Heed my warning. Time that right. Get that a little bit later. Like that. Ah! Not like that! Not like that! Jesus Christ! Okay, that was awful. Holy shit! Alright, let's see how I can do this here. Ah. Got him. Yay, I killed him. I killed an innocent little turtle. Ooh, an extra life. Don't mind if I do. And there's our last dragon. Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork! That's me, alright. 63. A number that has no significance whatsoever to anything. Well, to me, maybe it's like you were born on June 3rd, in which case it might. But to me, it has no, absolutely no significance. Beautiful, beautiful hoe. Let's get back here. It's kind of weird. I'm actually doing a report on shrooms for psychology right now. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to grab that. Jump there. Ah! Oh, well, I'll just go right back to where I'm trying to go. Alright, I'm back. I cut it. I forgot exactly where I needed to go, but remember this spot? Yep, right here. And then there is also that thing there. Which leads you right to here. But that's not where we want to go. Nope. We want to go over this way. Kill the double cupid, whatever you want to call it. The setup. Okay, that was just awful. 
I'm actually going with, like, cherub, like, terrible. Sad, but... This is just awful. They have that than this. Something. Good insult for trouble I can do. What the? I thought there were three dragons. Huh. Five. Just looking at the other one. I was gonna say, I thought there were more than that in this level. about a week ago that I tested this. I just haven't had the time to make the video. You know, usually after testing it, I don't feel like going through it a second time. Immediately after. Lost my train of thought there. Ah, eh, screw it. There he is. Sparks got uh, butterfly. Wow, I'm ADHD today. <coughs> Apora. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one who's gonna be trapped is him. I got a ball. It's yeah. always nice. Oh, yay, another Cupid thing. Rogue Cupid guy. Yeah. 500 here, right? Yeah. Okay, that was weird. Got a bow. And then go this way. Crash. I have a hundred and eight gems left to go. Hundred and eight. Thank you for releasing me. Another number that has no significance to me. Ooh, Die. Die. Aww. He didn't die. Die, die, why won't you die? I can never remember what movie that's from. I want to say V for Vendetta, but that was it. Like, I don't think that was the actual one. I thought they were just like, why won't you die? But that, why, why, why won't you die? Twilight Zone keeps kicking my head for some reason. Oh, 
last one is. Oh well, if the last one is just some random place where I'm missing it, then the last one, which they probably are, I will just uh, stop the video here and call it a night. If it is an actual uh, secret that I missed for some reason, well, there's two right there. But if it's an actual secret I missed for some reason, then yeah, I'll cut it right to where the secret is. But, you know, with only two, I don't think there is. Considering the fact that I had 100 in the run, first run through anyway. So, with that, I will say goodbye. Well, I'm gonna still be playing for a little bit during the time. Last time. Uh, what's down here? No, don't go in the whirlwind. Alright, well, anyway, see ya later.